Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Many a True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout, the board game, where Claire has a nuke launcher. Why, yes! Why did we give Claire... No. <laughs> no. Don't give Claire the cocking nuke launcher. Claire's got a nuke launcher out of Vault 109. It's probably going to, I don't know, ransack some more. She's probably going to do another action there next turn and find a unicorn to ride around on. So she can find Ooh. nukes from the back of her unicorn. Don't forget about my beautiful power armor. And then, of course, yeah, then unicorn armor for her unicorn. So it gives you another plus two Ooh, yeah. bloody damage threshold. Gotta have that unicorn armor. Mm -hmm. Right, so I believe it is my turn at this point. We've, you've just done your turn. You've just got the flipping fat man. Yep. So what I'm planning to do now is I will stay in my hazmat suit for the time being. And what I will do is... I'm going to do a move here, and I'm going to try Ooh. and take out this bastard, because I've got the sniper rifle. So I've got some advantages against this guy right here, which is, because I've got the sniper rifle, I can basically, yeah, I can count as one extra free hit, because I'm ranged and he's not. So I don't actually need to get three hits against him, I just need to get the two. Um, so I just need to get two headshots with three rerolls. Yeah, that seems doable. Which seems much more doable. Having a ranged weapon makes yeah. a big ass difference, as you're going to discover. Having a nuclear ranged weapon, probably even more so. So we got ourselves Ooh, the one head. One. Yeah, we got the one head we need. So that is number one, right over there. And then we have got ourselves. I probably should have just put on the power, the um, the common armor, to be honest, because one rad is not going to be worth the additional damage I take off this guy. But no matter. And then, yep, there's the second one that I need right there. Um, so, do I want to risk re If that one shows up as two next, that's going to be a disaster. So I've got two headshots against him, and I get a bonus from the fact I'm ranged and he's not. So I'm probably willing to take that, to be honest. I think I'm willing to take that immediately. So my I mean, your chances that it doesn't get worse... Are pretty good. Yeah. Like five out of six. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm... Hang on. Because I'm taking... Hang on. I'm taking... I can block one of those immediately. So I'm taking... Right now, I'm taking six. If I take... Um, ah, yes. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. Just for safety, I'm just going to say that's that's enough. No, that's fair. So we're just going to say... Yeah, we're just going to say one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're not going to... Yeah. But 3 XP and 1 loot Yep, three e pretty good. 3 XP is very, very nice indeed. So 1, 2, 3, and a loot as well on top of that. And the loot is water. Ooh, very useful. So that could be useful. So during yeah. your turn, I've... Um, this is technically during my turn because the fight is yeah. over at this point. So discard him and bring a new super mutant into the inactive form over there yes claire's trying to indicate something to me okay do you want to do your level up, uh, level up first yeah. because you might well if be... i get really look again e yeah e is e is the absolute crucial one there if i can get an e that'd be marvelous come on and it is a e e e e e e e e e e e right so i'm going to take an e related perk so, oh, I wonder, I wonder what I, I wonder what I shall take. I wonder what I'll take over there. So, I think I might just flipping take toughness. Discard to recover all of your hit points. Lovely. Uh, in fact, I might just no for safety. I'll do it now because technically you you continue to not take damage till the end of your turn. But mm. that guy might attack me. That guy might attack me in the meantime. So I'm just going to use it immediately. Just assume I've used it immediately. And I get to reset my hit points back up to max. But this was worth doing first. Because if you drank the water first. And then like ended up having that. Yeah. Would feel like a waste. Mm-hmm. So. You have to discard one of your things though. Discard. Oh, sorry. You're right. I absolutely do. I'm going to discard the Raider Armor. Shocking. It's, it's kind of trash. <laughs> it's terrible. And I will, having got that level, okay, that's good. That's kind of what I wanted. I wanted to level up and I wanted to get the endurance. And now I've got my health back, which is beautiful. So now we're in, we're in very, very nice shape indeed. What's the next logical thing to do at this point? 
You did one move. Right? Yeah, I've so got one. I've another. got one more move ready to go. Yeah. So you could go to the mall. Yeah, I'm gonna move into the mall because that's a level four raiding settlement, which is beautiful. Oh yeah, and that gives plus two of uh, security, so that might actually, mm-hmm. yeah, that might win the game for you. I have some really great stuff. I, I'm, I'm just here to loot. Game. I'm just here to loot. I just want to loot that massive yeah, presidential yeah, yeah. penis statue that they've got set up in the mall. All sure. right, that's all I want. That's it. Mm-hmm. So why why don't you just uh, why don't we just carry on there? It's wait, don't we? We've got to move the uh, creatures now, right? Yeah. And me, yeah. Let's move the creatures. Uh, so oh darn it, the bloody thing's going to activate, which is really annoying. Yeah, but it can't attack you straight away. Yeah, but I need to take care of it, which is irritating. Uh, so he's oh, there, and then he just moves one space over towards me there. Next up, the bugs all just move down and down and that one probably moves towards me yeah and these ones probably move down towards you this one will move down towards here though into that space and this guy just moves down to here and the terrifying and the terrifying dudes to me except for that one that That guy will move logically to actually doesn't matter it makes no difference which way he goes actually so he can be happily right there yeah that's everything okay marvelous uh, so, Claire, over to you. Are you going to try and wrap up Vault 109? Yeah, might as well. Yeah, not a bad bet, because the final stage of Vault 84 is like plus two influence cards, mm. which I got last time. So if you're very lucky... That'd be sweet. This might be just the thing for you. So, you enter a cavernous room. It is too dark to see, and you fumble around for some way to get more light. You find a panel and flip on the lights using the Vault's reserve power. Only several of the old lights flicker on, but it's enough to see, a. Uh, Fashion runway? What okay. Was, what was going on in this vault? As the last light flickers on, it casts a long, monstrous shadow across the room. It looks like something is living here. Ooh. So, you can fight the creature, draw and fight a monster token, or sneak away before it notices you. I mean, I'm obviously fighting a monster, I am me. And what is the monster? So it's a death claw. That's still tough, even for you. So first up, Claire, you need to pass the luck roll of three, just to see if you actually get any re-rolls. Yeah. Come on, bring it on, bring it on. Fail, 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 fail. Oof. Okay, you got that without needing your luck re-roll, fine. So you've got re-rolls. So now onto the death claw. Three to the arm. Okay. Okay, you got one one arm, good, good arm. So that's your roll. Okay. Reroll number one. Oof. Mm, okay. Reroll number two. Still That's only one the arm. Intelligence one. Come on. Uh, oh yeah. Oh no. yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Damn it! Oh, oh, oh. And it complete. Oh, it does actually smack you around though. You do get to counter it. It's a no score draw. But on the plus uh. side, at least you've got the armor. That it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So, um, fail. It gets away before you can defeat it. You leave the vault angry with your failure. Add this card. So this card, if you want to take it on again... Oh, so I'm not forced to move another spot. No, you're not forced to get away because it got away, not you. You didn't run away from it. But this was my one go, right? Uh, yeah, you can't encounter again. No, I know. Because it's an encounter. Okay. Though you obviously you take that death claw back off the board at this point because it's oh yeah because it went away yeah right um however yeah you I have still a have moves action. that I can do if you wish to move you're more than welcome I'm to I'm gonna move here that's one movement okay if you she's she's not done losing yet today apparently uh-huh, uh-huh. all right here we go right, here we go so all I right. need to do a luck roll of three so that's fine that's My fat absolutely man works. fine yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have to do two headshots with three rerolls. Yeah, that seems acceptable. You need to, yeah, you, when you're firing a nuke launch, you need to make sure you hit him in the head. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll never cocking work. Uh, so no heads. Reroll number one. No heads. No heads. Come on, literally no sixes. Come on, come on. Oh <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, one flipping them, one out of 12 rolls. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So lucky. But it didn't hit you, so you don't get the rads. Yeah, and like, I'm... So I have one more movement that I can do. Are you going to the cocky death claw? 
Yeah, totally. Three out of three. Let's have three out of three failures here. Three uh, out of three failures. Rad, by the way. Uh, yep, yeah, you do actually have to take that rag. Right, you're walking into a radiated territory. Luck roll number one. And that okay. is, that's fine. All right, so here we go. Though this time you can actually, you might be able to wipe out the, the mutant anyway. The yeah, that, the plan was to wipe yeah. out the two of them because of the blast radius. Yeah. Yeah, that seems reasonable. So arms, great. None no of arms, them. but now heads. Now heads are coming in, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, fine. Okay, Come one. on, all the heads, all the heads, all the heads. Heads! Two heads! <laughs> you suck so much! You're the worst Brotherhood outcast! Reroll number two. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! This is amazing! This is amazing! Oh, oh yeah, no, but he's level three, so I dear. don't get that. Um, oh dear, but you don't get hit back either, because it's only three spots. No. So, oh my goodness. Let us remember this day as the failuring of Claire. Let us remember the great failure oh. of Claire of 2017 <laughs> or 2282, whatever year we're in. I can't remember what year Fallout 3 is in. I'm generally just That's really bad amazing. at rolling dice That's in general. That's amazing. Right. Please go ahead. It's your turn, my dear. Okay. So first, I need to clear this bastard out of the cocking way. Yeah, oh. good luck with that. You know, he's on your uh, same space as you, so you uh, can't shoot him with your rifle. Cock it. That's so annoying. Right. Okay. I guess I'll... I mean, yeah, because that prevents you from using the mark. Because even if yep. you move one tile that's and true. then back, that's absolutely cocking true. And then potentially, if I if I do any, if I move down, then potentially that super mutant brute's just going to come straight down. And the process is going to repeat itself. But if I do go down, then at least I can do the same thing. Okay, fine. Move no, but then if I if I move here, the bear might come up. and get me. If you move up yeah. one, yeah. then you're not in as much danger from other stuff. Yeah, but if that guy moves down and attacks me, I won't have the sniper rifle advantage of plus one anymore. But I guess it is torso. But if you move over here, then you're still one away from this guy if he moves. That's true. You're still one away and from he him. won't move into the mole because that would be an illogical move for him. The logical move would be the direct route to me. Yeah. Right. Good point. So... Take one move in this direction. I don't actually get my gun benefit against the guy because he's a gun user too. So I don't get my free hit against him. I need to um, use. Uh, I need to kind of do some of my own stuff as well. Also, sorry, at the beginning of my turn, swap out the hazmat suit. Sorry. Um, so swap out the hazmat suit for actual combat armor, obviously. Uh, so at this point, now I want to do a fight action against that guy. So, the actions against him. So, um, yeah, it's arms, arms or head two. And sadly, I don't get my free hit because he's also got a gun. So, for once, I do actually have to get actual proper uh, two hits here. So, I think that is... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that's, 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 that's unlikely as a roll. Right, I've got... Technically, that's probably enough to flip and kill me. Uh, that's probably a bad idea. I might keep. Yeah. I might keep one of those just in case. I might keep one just in case. But I'm gonna do two re rolls on the other. See if I can go for some arms or head. I'm gonna. If I fail now, I'm gonna regret that. But uh, that's okay. Arms. So one more. Oh arms shit. Or head. I should have just taken it. Um. Oh, look who's terrible at rolling dice now. It's 50-50. It's 50-50 because arms are on two and the head's on another one. Yeah. So it's a 50-50 shot at this point. Uh... Oh. Yes. Just. Cocking just. Right. So I managed to negate two of those damage, which is fine. So I negate two of those damage. Uh, so I get to take two times three. So I go down from 16 down uh, to 10. So I've lost a big chunk of health there. Yeah, but you can see how it was worth risking the thing because you're not... One, you two, know, like, three on the XP front. He gets sent away uh, back under here. And the next person comes in. Wasn't he from the... Uh card though uh no i haven't activated that guy oh, yet sorry. because that was that was the guy who just spawned in there 
he was just the guy who also spawns on the mall, which regularly just cocking spawns super mutants, which is very irritating. Um, you didn't have a loot for that? Yeah, I do have a loot action. You are correct. That is Hancock. Uh, exhaust to move an enemy within two spaces of you into your space and fight it. Literally the worst idea for a sniper imaginable. Thanks, Hancock. But I guess I may as well set him. Uh, so, okay, fine, whatever. I, I guess we may as well have a companion as I sold all my others into slavery. Great. Uh, and I may as well stay where I am, because then, next t no, it doesn't matter. Um. You can go back to the mall, right? Yeah, but you if have I, one more I may as, I, there's no point, because if anything, if, if that guy respawns in the mall, I need to shoot him, and I can't do that from inside the mall anyway. Yeah, I see. So I may I'm just gonna and at least this way that guy moved to there. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna mm. stay where I am right now. So back over to enemies moving. Yeah. Please not super mutants. Not super mutants! Yes! Okay, so buggy bugs need to move there. You'll move towards me, he'll move towards me as well. He'll move presumably onto the long yeah. space to get towards you. And, so will this guy. And this pest will move into the death claw space. That's a. Uh... That's my space. I'm I'm here. Yeah. That's the same. He's moving towards me, and he's aggressive. Yeah. So I have to fight him. So you have to fight him in a second. Okay. So I have to fight him in a second, and then. And also the skull people. people. Move. Skull people also so need to move. Both uh, he of these guys are moving into my space. Uh, he no, he's gun user. He'll just shoot you. Me. So I have to fight three different You things. have to fight three different dudes. Yep, lovely. Yeah, yeah. Also, that guy also moves onto the highway, and this guy just moves down in that direction. Yeah? Great. Great. So, three fights for Claire. Okay, Bring so... Bring it on. Uh, choose your order. You get to choose the order you fight them. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to do the... Yeah, but you have uh, to roll for luck for every single one of them, remember? Yeah, I'm going to do the Raider Psycho first. Okay, Raider Psycho first. So, roll, roll for any re-rolls. Yeah, yep, good. fine for re-rolls on him. Lovely. Okay, so I have to hit his torso or legs. Two. Uh, we've got both torso and legs. Now, two. Yeah. And then uh, I don't take any damage. And you can dead. also you can blow up someone else, too, using your nuke damage. Oh, yeah. Uh, one enemy of equal or lower level within one space. So uh, I guess I take also the feral ghoul. You could just actually kill the glowing one. He's level two, same oh, level. Oh, and he's on the next space over, that's true. Yeah, he's Jason. You do that. So kill him. Okay, so they are both dead, and that's... Uh, do Does that count? Does the XP from the glowing one count? I killed I it. see no reason why yeah. not. Okay, so that's four XP. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And then the raider also had some loot on him. Mm-hmm. So let's do that. Uh, where was the ghoul from? I'm moderately confident the ghoul was from the very south on that occasion. Yeah. So new token appears on the south, and that raider was... <laughs> you know what? Just put it there. We don't know. Yeah, it's quite difficult to keep track Some, of It's everything. very hard to remember where someone comes from if they've been on the board for long enough. And your Ooh, loot junk, is... junk! Junk! More junk! Claire's got double junk. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the Tesla science because, you know... Yep, fine. Um, so, double junk. Fucking good junk diving! Absolutely marvellous, I'm sure. Okay, so the feral ghoul next. Yeah. Legs, chest, and head. Oh, I'm doing the first roll for yep, luck. Yeah, for luck. So, you so need I'm going to re-roll that. Re-roll, you need to get three. Ooh, no, okay. no re-rolls. Okay, no re-rolls. So I've got to hit chest, legs, chest, and head. Yeah, chest is a two. two. You should be able to do that anyway, to be honest. Yes, yes, easy. Yeah. And, and I'm not taking anything that. because... That's fine. Supremely good power armor. And you can also blow up the subsequent, the raider in the next one too. Yeah, I can do that without having to really bother. So that's a <laughs> three X. That nuking is highly efficient. Yeah. That's highly efficient. Okay, so. Um, ooh, ooh, I have agility. Excellent. Okay, so do you want your double? Okay, are you just going to assume you're taking a double turn next time? Um, you know, actually. Okay. I am thinking about... Because I could take Action Girl for a double turn next time. Yep. Or I could take Endurance for removing all my rads. That's true. Which do you want? I want Action Girl. Of course Come you on. do. Right, Action Girl. There mm -hmm. you go. 
for double times next time. Yeah, yeah, Don't forget yeah. to give yourself all your XP and relay the enemies. Yeah, I have done the XP already and then relaying the enemy. I think the zombie was from here. I think he was most recently on there. The bug, yeah. Yeah, the bug, yeah. So put a new bug down there. Yeah. And as for, I think the guy was literally just the guy from right there, I think. I think that works. Okay. So now over to you again, I believe, having just nuked everything. Yes, it was so great. Now, now that Claire's, yeah, oh. excellent. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to start. Mm. You could explore, get the final thing yeah. open. Finally get a robot on the map. Yeah, let's do that. Because I mean, I'm you've got four actions now. this time. If you find something you like, you can four action it. Robot, all. there's a robot. There's actually a cooking robot. What the hell? It's a Mr. Gutty. Nice. It's not even a particularly good robot, but whatever. Yeah. Um, Where were you earlier, you bastards? And that's Robco Factory, so actually... Finally, we found Robco Factory, yeah. Yeah. I could encounter at Robco Factory before you can get to the mall, which is, would be just a, a bit of a... You don't know what's going to show up there. It could be anything. Uh-huh. Yeah, you could you could go you could just basically take a move, fight the robot, um, get the XP I don't and need the to caps. Fight the robot. Yeah, but then take another move and then explore. I mean, you can't explore more than once in a turn anyway, or rather, you can't encounter more than once. So. Yeah, but I don't also need to take action and go out right now. Okay, fair enough. Sure. Uh, I'm going to start by doing one, two into Robco Factory, and then doing an encounter, and then I'll decide if I'm. Activating Action Girl after that. You just explored, then did a double move. Your turn's over unless you activate Action no, Girl. No, 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 I. F oh, yes, I explored, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you okay, did. my bad. I'm taking Action Girl. Yes, then. I thought that's what you wanted to I'm do. So yes, sorry. I thought my that's bad. what you wanted to do. Something terrible, something terrible, something terrible, something terrible. You hear the loud whine of an engine as a Brotherhood vertebrate appears over the horizon. Dust swirls and bites at your face as it lands nearby. Yes! Okay, you could take them out, fight and draw a random skull enemy, apply plus one to its level. You can talk them into leaving the wasteland, or you can head in the other direction. Okay, so are there any checks apart from the fighting the guy? Talk and leave. Talk them into leaving the wasteland is a science and charisma four. Sorry, speak... Uh, not speech or science. Strength, the other S. Strength or charisma four, yeah. Strength yeah, yeah, and yeah. charisma four. So okay, so I can So you've heard the Brotherhood Vertebirds arriving. You can take out the Brotherhood, mm -hmm. draw and fight a skull plus one level, talk them into leaving the wasteland, strength charisma four check, head the other direction. I'm gonna try and talk them into leaving the wasteland. Okay. So, strength, charisma, four check. Okay, so four check with two rules shouldn't be so bad. Except, of course, I've been rolling terribly this entire time, so I'm going to save this one. Come on, come on, come on. One more. Ooh, ooh, one more. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! 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 Screw you! Fail. They tell you to run along. Oh no! <laughs> Move one space and reshuffle this card in. Oh, so sad. Mo okay. Move along. Move, Move along, along, little Claire. Oh. The, the adults are talking right now. <laughs> the adults are talking in their vertebrates. Okay, it says move one space, but it doesn't say... You can specify which yeah. space you want to go in the direction of, well, yes. Well, I would prefer not to take a whole bunch of rats. Then you can avoid so... the rat spaces, yes. I'm going to move yeah. this way, which, annoyingly enough, is another, you know... Yeah, so that's one movement point, sure. Another rad. So you've uh, got one more movement, and you're fighting the death claw again. Yes, that's the whole Okay, point. roll for luck. Okay, Great. come on. Great. Bad luck, bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. Bad luck! No re-rolls against the death claw. <laughs> great, no re-rolls against the death claw. Oh, that's gonna be oh, great. Oh, no re-rolls against the death claw. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh dear. Oh, well, the... <laughs> my fat man didn't really work super well this time around, so... It's oh, fine, dear. I don't take any damage. That's true. You, your armour is amazing. You were just wandering around, it doesn't even matter that you're losing all these fights. It doesn't matter at all. You're just not taking damage. I'm gonna do my second movement into uh, near the vault. Excellent. Where are you going? Back to the vault. Back to the vaults. 
where they hate me. But see, the thing there's is, no one there. It's it's just ruins. It's just in ruins. But see, the thing is, because I only have two influence, yeah, and you have four, and I think you're well on your way to yeah. finishing up. I'm just like pottering around trying to kill things and failing. Speaking of which, I believe it's my turn. Yes. So, uh, let's just quickly do one quick move action to bring me back to the mall here. So, deal with the super mutants that continue to threaten Project Purity. Gotta make sure the Enclave can do its beautiful, wonderful work with all that lovely water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we've, go think on, we've go got on, to go do on. that. So, got to do draw a random encounter, and it's not so bad. It is a level three bloke. And this is automatically generated, so this is like an automatic fight as part of the quest action, not a fight I have to begin. Yeah, it's not an yeah, action. It's exactly. not a fight action. Um, so, if so, we have actually got ourselves now. I've just basically got to do everything I can here. So, okay. Sniper rifle. Two rerolls. <gasps> Chest. I forgot about my well rested. All these fights that I lost. <laughs> you could have re-rolled. You could have re-rolled and actually screwed me over and stopped me getting this because you had well rested. Yeah. You had a free re-roll off work. And thank you for reminding me that's there. That'll be useful for my three re-rolls. Yeah. <laughs> right. Just got to get three torso hits and also not die. That's Great. the key. Three torso hits and not die. So there's a torso right there. That's good. So fine. Torso with one hit, I'm okay with. And there's a torso with zero hits on here as well. And torso with another. That's acceptable. You so, can add a hit from your combat armor. Um by uh spending your well rested. Ooh, that's probably way safer, isn't it? Yeah. Because that would be only three damage and lose the well rested. Yep. So I'm going to do that to generate this shit. Thank you very much for reminding me about that. That's very kind of I'm you. I'm so annoyed with myself. So now uh, now I just need to sacrifice one, two, three for that. I can also help myself to one, two. Oh, I get to level up as well. Let's just have a celebratory. A celebratory perk. Yeah, yeah, Right about yeah, yeah. here. Intelligence or endurance. Oh, well. I think I'll take the endurance, actually. Yeah, shocking. I think, yeah. I'll, just, I think I'll just actually flip in, just max out my health. Just so we're at... lovely. That's just that's nice. That's mm -hmm. nice. That maxed out health, right there. Um, and incidentally, very very bloody conveniently. Uh, yeah. So we've got uh, that. Let's just quickly move this up by two stages. Oh, we're done. Oh my goodness, the game's ended. Shall we? You know, I don't know how many influence I've managed to get. You need to get 10 influence in total to win the game. Why don't you just go through your first, Claire? Why don't you just go through yours first? Uh, well, I had a freedom, so that's great. <laughs> so uh, I have Go a... team, brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have one influence. One so influence, because that... every card is worth one influence by default, plus uh -huh. additional influence if they're ahead. Yeah, fine. And I had... Payday, so that's three influence because I'm so rich. So for a total of? Uh, uh, for a total of four influence. Okay, total which of... Which isn't that bad with two cards. Total of four influence. Uh, so I have security, which is by default worth one, then one additional for every step the Enclave is ahead. You really should have been helping out the Brotherhood faster. Well, like, I know, prioritizing but... that. So one, two, three, four, five steps So that's six ahead. on its own. So that is six on its own. Then I had a second one of them, which is only worth seven because we agreed that it blatantly couldn't be the case that you were allowed to double count those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have actually written to the game maker to request clarification that because the rules do not specify these can't double count, but it seems ridiculous they'd be allowed to. It'd be too powerful. Mm. So that's seven. That is up to eight. eight, just on its own. And then the mighty puppet master ah, is worth nine plus an additional if you have both security and a freedom for a total of 10, which is the required victory condition for a two player game. It is, uh, yeah, down to nine for three and uh, eight for four. Oh, well. Excellent. Absolutely marvellous. And the Enclave have won. Thus, there is going to be purified water for everyone. And all these rumours, scurrilous rumours, about the fact we injected a secret virus into the water that kills anything that's not a pure human, lies. Absolute not true. 100% not true. Definitely didn't happen. You can trust me. I'm a parrot. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> <laughs> 
the sound of like your entire audience going like, no, he's not. So there we are. That there was the Fallout board game. Like, um, I know we don't talk about it very much. We actually play, uh, we, we own quite a lot of board games. We play quite a lot of board games. I've been impressed with this one. I think replayability is really high. Because, yeah. like, I think especially, like, when you add in, like, say, the way that Rads can end up shaping up. Like, in this case, that corner of the map was completely locked away behind Rads. And in this case, like, Megaton was locked away behind a couple of different, like, very difficult cross terrains. Creating, and even more on this side, creating a kind of interesting thing. Where the roads and, like, you know, that canyon and this road spawn make really interesting things. Because they can make kind of quick passageways around the map or not. Which is very, very interesting indeed. And yeah, there are multiple scenarios. Obviously, these get reshuffled each time. There are different scenarios with different objectives and different enemies and whatnot. I think actually we made it through this entire match without um, fighting a single Brotherhood of Steel or Enclave guy. Because because yeah. I basically bowed down and accepted my new overlords and you just kind of wandered around and kind of avoided them Pretty as best much. you could. They didn't seem to spawn in much. I think possibly the cards we drew kind of maybe ate a couple of them. Because like, yeah, there's a shield there and a, and a star there, for example. So I think yeah. we kind of we took some of them out of circulation because they're not the most common ones to move. So, yeah, I've, we've played now three matches of this because we've played two test yeah. games to learn the rules. This is the third time we've played this. And I think every game's been very different. Yeah, and this has been the best, I think, because yeah. we knew from the beginning what the armors do and everything. Yeah. And, yeah, and this is the first time we've actually, anyone's been inside Vault 109. Yeah. This is the first time, I think, this this is the first time anyone's even touched the unique special asset deck. And you've got two of yeah. that And those are stupid powerful. But we both um, ended up with, like, really good armor and guns. Yeah. Like, this mine is... are from the special deck, but yours are mine from were, Mine were lucky, because I got, I got two items of junk, and I swapped that for the most one of the most powerful guns yeah. in the game. Although yours is worth 11 rather than tense even more but that's just ludicrously powerful which is really really good indeed you know what i could have done i could yeah. have gone to the shop and sold the fat man yeah. and got 10 money and used gunner to get it right back again that's actually true <laughs> you, which basically means actually if you've got a if you've got an expensive gun gun no actually no if you sell to the shop it doesn't go into the shop it goes to, no because you get it out of the discard pile that's yeah. true because actually that's kind of weird because the the actual perk that is all about getting money. Fortune Finder only gives you eight caps. The one that doesn't give you money, if you've got a more valuable piece of gear than that, is actually worth more money, which is kind of stupid. But you're right, that's really <laughs> weird. Uh, but I, you're right, there's taking nothing to stop you doing that. I also love that we both completed the special. Yeah, we got the, we got the specials. And we were both idolised at the end. Oh, I can't believe it. You <laughs> forgot well rested existed. If you no. hadn't done that, you'd probably have managed to screw me over with by actually getting the Brotherhood forward another tier because if they'd moved forward just one more tier i wouldn't have been able to complete the game because i'd have known i'd only have had nine points not ten i'd have had to have held off the all because i wouldn't have been able to complete it but your puppet master is really interesting like this this uh yeah the other, yeah have. the other plus one is yeah if another survivor wins the game you get plus one so if you know that you've got nine you can basically help someone else win the game knowing that you will win as well because the game's not really cooperative or competitive it's kind of like halfway between the two because there's, there's literally no mechanism for survivors to fight each other yeah um but equally there's not much of a mechanism to help each other though you can sort of screw each other over indirectly because it's like you know in my case it was really obvious i was working for the enclave because i literally declared public loyalty which you can do to get them off your back but i didn't know what claire was doing so you can kind of you know claire could have really pushed for the brotherhood to basically screw me over the moment she knew that. I expected the Enclave to come up at some point if I got more influence, mm. but then I didn't get any cards. Yeah. So. But yes, there we are. That is Fall of the Board Game. I'm impressed. Um, I'm really interested to see actually how these videos do, because we have loads of board games. It, they're a pain to record. They're a pain. To, and what time did we start recording this? Like one o'clock, but then we started setting up at like... 10, 13, 11 in the morning. 11 in the morning. It's currently 20 past 8 at night <laughs> to record this one game. So yeah, it's it's a bit of a pain to record them, but I'll be really interested to see if this series goes well. Let me know in the comments whether you'd be interested in seeing more board games, because I own the original Civilization board game, and the new Civilization board game is coming out very, very soon indeed. So yeah, this seems good. Actually, you know, we own uh, the, the StarCraft board game. That, that would take even flipping longer. Oh my goodness. That thing's a horrendous, no. impossible monstrosity. So, you know what? We'll have a look how this does. We'll consider maybe we want to do um, more board games. We shall have to flipping see. But I think we will definitely leave things off there. Good little game. Uh, we'll link to it in the description below. I assume, like, I guess on um, Fancy Flight's own website. I don't know. We'll, we'll ask them what they want. We'll link to it in the description below somehow. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. This has been Many a True Nerd. And that has been the grand finale of Fallout the Board Game. Thank you very much and goodbye. Goodbye.
Now, I really hope we've agreed open borders with Japan, by the way. Otherwise, they have basically just invaded. I may have picked the wrong fight over... Yep. And my sisters, of course, have got even more flipping high-tech, though mysteriously still completely dependent on, you know, an aqueduct. Now, I'm not saying your entire army is mostly already dead, but it kind of actually is.